Hello and welcome to Driven Plus and today I'm reviewing a highly carbon fired BMW F80 M3 and this doesn't need much of an introduction. Hit the cinema. So I'm here with Nathan from Carbon Culture. This is your business, isn't it? Hi, yes it is. Thank you for coming on the channel and showcasing your beautiful F80 M3 in which you'll talk us through it very, very shortly. But can you give us more of an introduction to Carbon Culture and what you do here? Yeah, so we are a carbon fibre specialist business. Um, we do a lot of fabrication, repairs, uh, custom requests, skinning, um, infusion, carbon work. Um, and mainly for BMWs and high-end cars. Oh, no, it's good to know. Um, talking about your, your F80 M3, this is more of a, of a showcase car for what you do. Yes. But where do we even start with what you've done to this? Um, <laughs> it's a normal, well, it actually go to the car, F80 M3 competition. Yep. So it's not a CS, but it's got, as your viewers will know, it's a CS bonnet. Yes. How do you come to obtaining this? Because obviously uh, you want to incorporate the carbon repairs. You want to talk us through the story yeah. of how you got a CS bonnet? So, genuine CS bonnet, long story short, um, customer come to us wanting numerous modifications um, and also had a carbon fiber CS bonnet for repair. Right. Once we gave them the price as well as the parts that they wanted, it wasn't cost effective. So, essentially, we bought it off them, repaired it, essentially to sell. But it's just, I mean, it's too yeah. good to get rid of. So we ended up putting our, our, on our own F80. As being a CS owner myself, that's a, <laughs> a good it, move. Yeah, definitely. And it's 25% lighter than the normal Ali bonnet, if anyone's running at home. Can we open the bonnet and see if yes. you can actually see the repair? or Because it's just good to see anyway. Because I know you've got some... I knew I was going to make a bit of a noise. I know you've got some under the uh, engine modifications there. So you can't tell at all, can you? You can't tell, no. Wow. But yeah, as we go on to the, the engine, you've changed a lot here. Everything you've done is, is your work. Everything, yeah, is our work. So yeah. we've got the OEM airbox that we've skinned in BMW 2x2 tour weave. And all this is on your website, isn't it? Yes. And yeah. on, the, on the screen now. And, we, and you can buy all this, can't you? And you can. You yeah. ship nationally and what about internationally? Internationally, yeah. We ship worldwide everywhere. Oh, good. That's interesting, yeah. So carry on with your airbox, yeah? Um, so original airbox skin, two times two to a weave. Um, we've put like a little individual plaque because it was the first one made to showcase it. Um, we've done a collaboration with Golden Wrench where we've got original Golden Wrench caps that we've modified, painted them Ferrari red with black accents. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got our engine cover, again, Ferrari red accents, our charge cooler, uh, and just rest of things we have got minimalistic things like we've got the bolts that we've put here down star yeah. bolts but we've just left them black so they're very inconspicuous you don't want them too much red underneath there yeah when you did open the bonnet before me and look around the car i did notice the, the attention to detail that you've <laughs> yeah. gone to yeah the, 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 it's a little touches isn't it that does it it just yeah definitely you know, to the eye it's, it's a big difference um, and you've added your plaque there there's your loss of corsa one of 47 yeah and obviously there's a bmw um, what's the difference between Ferrari Red and what's the cause? It's the same, it's isn't the it? same thing, yeah. yeah I was going to say, yeah. Um, all right, if you want to bring that down, we'll talk about obviously exterior modifications, but even you know, like the attention to detail Nathan's gone into, even the BMW badges, if you want to talk us through that. Yes. So, again, another in house made product. Um, it is a genuine BMW roundel, and we essentially dechrome them, so we bath them to get rid of the chrome, the chrome correctly. Um, and then refinish them in gloss black. Just, it's a very small, yeah. subtle mod, but with a massive difference. Remember, I want two of them. I'm buying some of them. I <laughs> yeah. like them. Um, you've tinted the lights, haven't you? Yes, so it's um, Expel PPF on the front lights. That's good. And obviously, I'm guessing that, is that BMW? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can. But these, yeah, well, they, yes. these, these so are canards. Canards are ours, yeah. yeah. Um, again, it's Expreg made in house. Um, and then underneath, we've got um, another collaboration with a US company where they ship marine grade plastic. Um, and we've obviously just painted it black. We were going to do it carbon, but 
a little bit too much carbon, so we've left it to mm. match the grills in gloss black. That's a good thing, though, isn't it? If, yes. you, if you catch it, on it's green grade, it's... Yeah, we've tested it. Split them all, yeah. yeah, we've tested it a few times, and I wouldn't say indestructible, but it's taken a beating. That's good. Good to know. Um, shall we? Uh, let's go around over to the side here. But Nathan, we'll move on to the car in a second. But for the viewers at home, how did you come to obtain a business like this? You know, what's your story, and how did you get into carbon fiber repairing, carbon skinning? Right. So, uh, background history started when I was very young, being an automotive painter. Um, and then progressed on to BMW. Um, and we used to have to progress ourselves, do courses. So my initially started as a BMW painter, um, gone on a course to Thatcham, learning how to repair approved methods for carbon fiber. Um, and then from there moved into aircraft carbon fiber. So oh. roughly about 10 years in Airbus, um, the, working with yeah. A350s for carbon fiber aircraft. Um, and then having a passion for it really, as in on the side, I'd always want carbon fiber parts. Who doesn't on their own car? Yeah. Um, so essentially we, we've been doing it for a very long time and we thrive on what we do, especially as in putting the love into certain parts for our customers like we would our own. So you, you, even when you're working on aircraft and, and Airbus, you still have carbon culture on, essentially, the, yeah. on the side. Yeah. yeah. So no, that, that's always good to, to know. And, and I love it when businesses are, are born from passion because those are the best type of business. They, yeah. just, they just happen, don't they? Um, no, good. Interesting. Thanks. Thank you. Um, but let's move on to the car then. The, these, uh, is it Edelweiss? Uh, Edelweiss, yeah. Edelweiss, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> um, they look well, don't they? They look yeah. really good. Huh? Yeah. I, I like the 666 M's, the, the normal you get on the, the competition M3s, but they're heavy wheel. A lot yeah. of people don't realise, and these are lightweight, aren't they? Yeah. If you want to talk us through the studs, what you've done. Um, so we've got PSD designs, titanium studs. Um, we've got the Edelweiss 8.8 kilo, uh, kilogram LT3 wheels. Um, 8.8 kilograms? Yeah, 8.8 kilograms a corner, um, finished in the frozen black, and then wrapped in PS4 S's. It'd be interesting to, to weigh them weigh the, my CS wheels against and there against see, these yeah to see which one's lighter because that that'd be interesting are they 20s 20s yeah 20s yeah um and you've got the what are these called the um we've got stone, our... f stone flick protector <laughs> should, we, should we call them yeah we've got our arch guards on there um and we've also again another collaboration with Adelies. um we've done some carbon fiber center caps with their logo embossed on it oh that's smart i didn't notice that again a very subtle mod yeah you don't really notice no, I like that. Um, and then you've put, obviously put your, your plaque, your emblem on, on the side there. Yes, yeah. um, side skirts. Side skirts are... Are they you or are we... Yeah, uh, in-house made, pre-peg. Yeah. Um, made by us. Again, the only similar ones on the market are extortion amount of money. Yes. Um, the majority of what people buy are the wet laid versions that they just sink over time. Um, so not to say you must buy these, but anything for side skirts, pre press essential. Yeah, and we'll, we'll get onto the, um, the process of carbon skinning very soon, so stay tuned, because uh, that's interesting. That's what I want to know more about, and I'm pretty sure viewers at home are like, oh, what's this carbon skinning on about? We'll get there soon, stay with us. Um, but yeah, I'll say there's Nathan's plaque. If you want to follow him on Instagram, he's got a few followers, more than me. Um, <laughs> but tell you what, let's, let's go on the inside before we go to the rear. Yeah. Because, again, it's the attention to detail that Nathan's gone into. So even on the inside, there's, there's carbon fibre, again, everywhere. Handles there, there. I think, are they you as well? Yeah. Really? It, yeah. So wow. they're OEM cores, skinned in carbon fibre. Same process as the original carbon kit that you get in an F80 and an F82. Right. Um, we've got the really small vent trim here. Yeah, again, something then. very subtle. Mm. Uh, radio, radio surround. Gear knob. Yeah, that radio surround is, uh, yeah, that, that looks well. You don't, you, BMW don't do that. On, they don't, no. Yeah. It's a nice little touch just to keep yeah. every trim in the eye in carbon fibre. Gear selector and then gear, gear stick surround there. Yeah. They're always a nice touch, aren't they? Yeah, and then mm -hmm. we've added something. So we've done the base with our logo embossed on the Alcantara, which is down there really subtle here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. Um, and then we've done the buttons to match. We've done the Alcantara on the buttons. Wow. Oh, I like that. And it's actually quite a well-specced 
M3. It is so very well spec. Yeah. 360 degree cameras yeah. is quite a rare button you see there, isn't it? <laughs> it so it's is. like, oh, well, what's that button there? You don't, I don't have that on mine. Um, but even the the steering wheel column. Yeah. Obviously, you can tell that's been that's been carbon skinned yeah. as well. So we've done the front. Um, it, again, it's personal preference, but yeah. me personally, I don't like the M performance in Chrome. So we've left the original trim with the M. Right. Um, we've skinned that one, and then we've skinned the back of it. Mm -hmm. um, and on also the M buttons are ours, which are full carbon fiber. I didn't even notice them. <laughs> Again, wow. very subtle mod. Yeah. Very subtle mod. Little, little details. Um, what about the, the paddles? Have you? Have you uh, the paddles aren't ours. They're paddle shifters. Okay. Um, to be fair, we do do a few versions of paddles, but honestly, they feel great. Um, I'm not a fan of the magnetic ones that you see on the market now, but those just give a lovely feel to them when driving. Good, good advert for that company there. <laughs> Anything else that I'm missing here, Nathan? That uh, M2 CS steering wheel. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, nice. So it's got the red above rather than the black. Ah, I didn't know there was a red, yeah. red in the so M2CS. I thought it was uh, M2CS comes with a, a red um, ring around it. Well, I wouldn't say ring. Yeah, on the M4CS, it's like silver. Yeah, ah. yeah. it's quite difficult to get hold of. You know, if you've yeah. got in the know people in BMW, it's it's one of those things. It's a rare item to come by. Nice, nice. But the red ties in lovely with the car. Definitely. Right, let's go have a look on the opposite side of the car. So looking into the back of Nathan's F80 M3, as you can see, he's upgraded the carbon backs there. He's, he's put them on with his uh, carbon culture emblem. They look great. I think it makes sense on an M3 because it's five seats. People actually get in the back. With an M4, not so much. But um, Nathan, performance-wise, yes. You know what have you actually done to the car? Because obviously, aesthetics and visuals, it looks brilliant. But in terms of performance output, what have you actually done? Uh, so performance upgrades very minimal. Um, what we've got is uh, Burger Motorsports slash cut tips, um, not essentially performance, but for the exhaust, we've yeah. got um, the VRSF um, mid pipe, single mid pipe. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, and we've also got the Thompson Motorsport 200 cell cats. Right, okay. Um, and then a valve controller to just keep both valves open at all times, just gives it a little bit more depth. And one thing you didn't ask, because obviously it sits nice, is it, is it does lower, sit nice. coil so over springs? It's on M Performance um, adjustable springs. Yeah. Is it the Haas kit? Um, it? it is the Haas kit, yeah. yeah. And believe it or not, how low it is, it's not all the way down. No? It's not all the way down. I think you'll, you'll be putting that aircraft, the, <laughs> that military grade plastic into good news if you uh, yes. lower it even more. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, if you give it a start, I'm going to have to... Yeah. I'd be interested to hear this, I think it'll sound well. Yeah, it's loud. It's very loud. Is that cold start? That's a cold start, yeah. Um, Sport Plus again. If you move it into Sport Plus now, it's louder again. Come on then. It gets louder. Sounds good. It's Very not loud. too loud, but it's not. It's, it's yeah. probably just right for what I'd want mine to be like because I want to grade my exhaust, and it sounds great. Um, no, but if we knock it off and we'll move on to this M5 you've got here. So Nathan, you've got this BMW F90 M5. Massive fan of these. I've had one myself. Do miss them, especially just for everyday use, and they're, well, they're just good at what they do. Um, but can you talk us through why is it in? On what you've yeah. uh, what you what you're doing to it so it came in pretty much standard um and we've done an abundance of mods to it um so we've added splitter side skirts diffuser spoiler um and then some trick little mods like we've got our roundels on there yeah um we've got the m5 emblem that we've done in gloss black oh yeah nice so what do you do with that then? Do you so literally we make new. Um, it right. makes no sense. Such a small part, cost effective to to paint the old ones. We just make yeah. new in gloss black. That's one thing I'm going to get off Nathan actually, is because they need to make these little badges. I'm on the M4CS. It just says M4, but you're going to make yeah, some M4 CS. CS ones. Yeah. Got to get um, that in, haven't we? We've also got uh, the original plinth that we've modified with a magna plate kit. So we've had to bend the plinth because this is 
slightly recessed. Yeah, it's hard to do a number plate delete on these cars. Isn't yes, it? Yeah. yeah, so we've kept the original plinth and then obviously made it magnetic. Magic. Um, yeah, it's been lowered. Um, yeah, and the carbon bits as well. They, yeah. They look good. And, they, and it's lowered, how much have you lowered it by? It's lowered on um, ABAC, I think it's yeah. about yeah. 30 mil. So ABAC is good for keeping the performance, but yeah, comfort at the same time. It's not very hard. Yeah. The, the ride is good. Um, but yeah, I do love these cars. But yeah. No, fair enough. Um, I'll tell you what then, we'll move on to the carbon skinning process. You want to yes. talk us through that? Yeah. So Nathan's got a few splitter repairs in with us. Now, Nathan, if you want to talk us through what's the process of actually repairing these splitters, because there's a lot of detail that goes into there it, is. Isn't it? And, yeah. and different stages as, as, yeah. as far as I'm aware, if you want to talk to them. Um, so we do a lot of different sort of repairs on it. We do infusion repairs, uh, lamination repairs, uh, resin injection, um, and we also do skinning. Um, so if you look at something like this, OEM spoiler at the moment has got some resin fracture to it. Yeah, I can see that. So again, this will just be a really small lamination repair. Is that a BMW one? It is an OEM BMW Ooh. for an M2 F87. Right, okay. Um, and that's in with you for a repair, obviously. That's in for repair, yes. Um, and then we've got the likes of, again, OEM CS splitter. Mm -hmm. It's literally come in for some small resin fractures and some stone chipping, again, lamination repair. And then- we I need a booking for you. <laughs> yeah. we, we move on to things like this. We've got a, a Bentley splitter in with us where yeah. it's got a big crack in it. Um, so what was that stone chip type of thing? It's been damaged previously and obviously repaired. With poorly someone, repaired. Very poorly repaired, yeah. yeah. Um, by a company that's not got a lot of knowledge in repairing carbon fibre and what mm -hmm. they've essentially done is painted over it black. Um, so we'll be reskinning this piece up to the half, up to the joint line, which is slap bang in the middle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we've also got things that come in that aren't really cost effective to repair. So we've got an OEM splitter here, which is cracked in the middle. And someone just taped it together. <laughs> yeah, just to hold it on. Yeah. Um, and we've just swapped that out again for an OEM one that we've refurbished in house. So what will you do with that then? Will you just kind of repair it and then sell it on? Or uh, to be fair, things like this, this is too far gone. It's not cost effective for us yeah. to do. Um, but these are great examples for um, the likes of our apprentice to have a go at repairing yeah. and learning and things like that. We can just do a little crack in it and, and let them repair it. But yeah. essentially, that's that's what it is for the bin. That's good to know you've got an apprentice here as well, learning yeah. the, the the trade, and obviously it's it's doing well. So what's in here, Nathan, if you want to talk us through? Um, so this is our paint booth. Yeah, you can smell that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so essentially, this is a, a bigger booth than what it was originally meant to be. We've custom made this with a company called Masterflow. Um, okay. Originally, it was a Dalby booth, um, and we've just literally nicked the parts that we needed. So the extractor, the motor, the lights, uh, the heating elements, the burner, um, and we've used... Um, insulated fridge panels to make the booth bigger oh. um, just so we get a lot of cars in the workshop it just made sense or made sense sorry mm -hmm. to get a car in as well as getting some parts in and obviously putting the bifold when there's customers in they can come and view what's mm -hmm. going on so what are the kind of limits of what you respray what obviously body panels but um, to be fair we do absolutely anything we do alloy wheels um recently done a full respray on our porsche 992 nice um you know, anything really we don't really tend to dive into crash damage things, um, but you know the odd small repair, full side, mm. bonnet, especially stone chips. We get a lot of people coming yeah. in yeah. with M4s and M3s that um, essentially want magna plate kits. They've got a battered front end and stone chips. We do a full front end repair, and while it's in magna plate, why not? Yeah, yeah. it makes sense. Um, you do pretty much everything, don't you? Pretty carbon much carbon skinning, carbon, yeah. carbon fiber, everything, and and you. Respray as well. Yeah. Mr. Do it all, Mr. Know it all. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've got another room next door, so we let's have, go have a look yeah. there. So this is another one of Nathan's rooms. I'm got a clue what it is if you want to talk us through. <laughs> so this is our mixing room. At the moment, it looks terrible because we're moving schemes. So we're okay. switching over to a company uh, It's called Novel. Uh, brilliant products. And we also do a lot with a company called Car Systems, which are, again, brilliant, used in-house at BMW, Porsche, for all carbon fibre work. So when you say mixing, you're on about like mixing epoxy? 
no, so mixing paint, so right. spectrometer uh, for cameras for mixing paint, um, paint matching, colour chips, um, and obviously we, we mix in here before we go in the booth. That's just quite a handy room to have then. It is a quite handy room to have, especially yeah. with extraction. I mean, you, you could smell the booth before, it's exactly the same yeah. here. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Um, uh, oh, some rounders there. Are they ready for me? <laughs> <laughs> they are. It's actually M4. Oh, rounders. there you go. Then. There you go. Um, have okay. you done that? Yeah, little mug. <laughs> so I've made myself a coffee this morning. Um, again, just something that we do in house. You've got some more spare time. In yeah, day, spare you? time working with <laughs> other parts. Calm five and mug. Love it. Love it. Um, you've got your, your spray guns there as well. Yeah. And what's all this on the bottom here? Is, is this uh, paint? Is it? It is, yeah. So we've got different uh, variations of clear coats. We've got um, two mini guns that I just left out from Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, these are like our intricate guns that we use for like our custom coloured buttons. Right. Um, not something that we use on roundels. And we've got different types of clear coats, UHS, HS. Uh, and then we've got our car system stuff for carbon fibre. Mm -hmm. um, Novol, just different blends. Usually we all keep our clear coats out and with our PPS system. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. So I'll see this is Nathan's unit from the outside, which you've painted all black, isn't it? It looks pretty yep. cool. Um, we sprayed the whole building inside and out black, uh, put our signage up, just got a few extra little things uh, to do, like change the door. Other than that, everything black. <laughs> So where, obviously I know where we are, but can you tell where is this yeah. unit based? Uh, so we're based in North Wales, Colwyn Bay, um, literally about five minutes off the A55. There we are. And if anyone's interested in getting what we've talked about today, we'll put your Instagram and uh, website in the description and on the screen now. So get in touch with Nathan. Um, but Nathan, thank you for letting us thank come and get much. a video on your interesting job. And it's, it's been great to document, obviously, your M3, the M5, the painting booth and the mixing booth. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching at home. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. We got it. We got it.